wasn't a good one, as you all know. Most of the season we had bad times, but at some point we could have some fun, you know. This is all what Rangers is all about. But anyway, I have some good news. There's somebody special that's here with me, come all the way from England and is having a drink with me in Portugal. Right there. It's me, Jimbo. I thought I'd pop over and see Vinny and just see how it's getting on. And uh, yeah, it's been a season to forget. A season of regret. And we could have done a lot better, but we didn't. And um, I feel like we need to just get rid of as many as we can and just refresh and start. Here's Portugal in its finest uh, nightlife. And uh, Vinny, this season's going to all be about transfers and stuff. Um, I reckon Re Robbie McCory is going to now down the number one spot. He's been waiting to take it off for Gregor and he deserves it. Brilliant goalkeeper. Riv's Riv fan as well. Looks like he's got some quality. We know Tavernier's got quality and uh, we've got a good defensive backups as well. We need to strengthen up front mainly and so a bit into midfield and just need to get better quality and stop signing squad players. This could be a season of summer transfer rumours. Vinny, what, what, where, where do you reckon we need to focus on most? Mate, to be honest, I think we can, we should focus all over the pitch, all over because I'm not happy, particularly with the defence. The midfield hasn't been that great and the attack hasn't been that good as well. You know, um, Morelos wasn't being so good as he was. So like all of his injuries, so um, we're gonna have a long summer with all of these transfers, you know. Yeah, I'm looking forward to some of the names we've seen and uh, hopefully the players are signing have the ability like Campwell and that skill and desire. And there, there, there is like good signs that we can sign some good players. And uh, Vinny, um, do you reckon we can topple Celtic next season? Well, it all will depend on how will we do in the summer transfer market, you know, because we need players who can deal with a lethal attack. We need players who can control the wing because that's where Celtic dominate in most of the games when they played against us and the other clubs in Scotland. And we could see that in the last old firm game, you know, they dominate the wing, but they couldn't pass through, you know, because we was the best team, you know, so, um, I think, you know, a focus on a strong defence, solid defenders, that would be a huge upgrade for the club. And hiring, like, a striker that has the same desire and determination as Todd Cantwell, that would be crucial to outclass Celtic next season. For sure. And how many strikers do you reckon we need to sign? Well, I think we should, uh, we should have... Um, one more, just one striker, because the format the Rangers plays, you know, it's like, um, it's a 4-3-3, or a variation of the 4-3-3, so um, one striker would do, you know, somebody to take out um, Morello's job, that would be lovely, you know, and we should have another striker who can get an offensive support and some other one who can get a defensive support, you know, to make sure we're going to have all of the games in control. All right, James, so um, I just ask you right now, what's your percentage of confidence to beat Celtic next season? Uh, I reckon we're going to beat them to the title next season and smack them out of the cups as well. I'm 100% confident. We've got a great manager in Mick Bill and we're going to sign some great players. We're going to take that title back off Celtic and smash them off all over the park and destroy them and demotivate them. We are the people. Right. Um, what do you think out of 100%? What are we going to, like, what, what are you thinking that I'm well, going to beat them at the title? I'm under, over 100% certain. What about you? Yes, mate. I'm 100%. 101% we can beat Celtic, you know, last season. Because I'm definitely sure that Michael Bio, he has some good knowledge about good players. And his tactics, uh, due to his background, you know, a guy who had experiences in South America, in England, so I think he knows what's right for the Rangers at the moment. Here I am, a loyal orange man, just come across the sea for singing and for dancing. So I hope I will please thee and to tell them of my forefathers who fought in days of yore. And it's on that 12th. Well, I love, love to wear the sash me I father wore. 
Shit, it is it's old, old, but it is beautiful. beautiful. And its colors, they are fine. It and was born at Derry, old Kerem and his killing and the boy. My father wore it as a youth and the bygone days of yore. And it's on the twelfth I love to wear the sash me I father wore.